Hey guys, today we have this. Uh, this is a professional thermal imager. So this is an infrared camera which you can use uh, to find the cold and hot spots. Uh, so let's quickly go through the box and then we will use it over here in Golfmark 7 to check a couple things. Here's the warranty card, here's the, here's the user manual and here's the device itself with a strap for your wrist and also there's an a micro SD card already installed over here. What else do we have? This is for the SD card and here we have USB to USB-C cable to charge it and to uh, view the files saved on the memory card. And the device looks pretty pretty uh, nice. It's compact, nice grip. We have the display at the front, we have the sensor at the back now this is the front and this is the back yeah we have four buttons over here we have a trigger over here there's a micro SD port as I said before and there's USB-C port over here and there's a silicone cover for it and the whole device is rated as IP54 so that's for your concerns about moisture and dust okay so let's turn it on I believe you need to press and hold over here and it will load in a couple of seconds and with those four buttons and this trigger you can uh, you um, you can navigate through the uh, menus and settings over here and of course use the device with a short press you can just uh, turn the um, turn it off with short press you can wake it up and if you long press it you can um, shut it down completely uh, with ok button on the left you go to the menu and over here we have various options like the uh, display options uh, high and low temperature alerts uh, LED flashlight because here we have not only the sensor at the bottom but also LED uh, flashlight and laser pointer for accurate um, uh, maneuvering of this uh, device we can change the display palette because by default we have this uh, rainbow palette but we can go with iron is there something hot over here white hot black hot uh, rainbow and lava and other other settings okay so what else uh, we have over here we can of course uh, select language we have to only two we have Chinese and English uh, temperature units uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit I'm using Celsius we have this parameter to be set uh, and I believe this is to adjust the device for certain materials we have the laser pointer pointer which you need to enable by default it's uh, disabled since uh, laser pointer pointers can be dangerous for your eyes you have uh, brightness time and date settings auto power off um, auto save options about the SD card and device info and factory reset okay so let's do something cool I hope you can hear me here's a Golf Mark 7 with a 2 liter TDI engine and with this device I can already see where are the hot spots over here near the fuel filter we can see that one of the lines is already getting warmer this is most likely the return line from the engine and the blue one the cool line is the line from the fuel tank which still contains uh, cold fuel over here there's the coolant uh, reservoir and we can see that it's slowly getting warmer if we step a little bit backwards we can see how is the how's the temperature looking compared to other stuff if uh, in our um, field of view we still have the engine cover so we are not checking the engine itself but i know that there's a turbocharger over here so this should be the hottest thing over here so let's press the trigger which is over here just to create a screenshot of uh, of uh, current field of view and right now if we go to menu image viewer we can check the last image and over here we have the readout we can see the maximum and minimum uh, readout and of course I can also go into picture information and over here we have date and time and we can see the center temperature because this device shows uh, show us uh, the um, temperature of whatever is in the uh, center of the field of view it was 65 degrees celsius high temperature was 66 and the low temperature was 14 somewhere in the background uh, of our field of view so the engine is still cold 
we can see this over here but the exhaust gas is, is uh, slowly warming up the turbine over here which we can confirm with this uh, measurement and with this snapshot luckily there's another vehicle over here which was driven a few minutes ago so we can check for example how's the brakes temperature over here and we can see that those brakes are pretty hot we have uh, top temperature where is it where is it where's the hottest thing i believe the calipers 77 75 78 degrees and let's check if the other side is at the same temperature so let's go over here and let's check 88 85 so this side is a little bit warmer but still pretty much uh, almost the same as the as the left side since my golf is slowly getting warmer we can check if the air vents are already hot yeah we have some hot air over here from this vent center vents as well no not so much but the windscreen is getting warmer so i believe my windscreen vents are operated right now and the passenger side is warm as well let's check footwells oh that's hot and over here that's my leg <laughs> yeah we have some warm air over here as well let's check the infotainment display since the backlight is most likely generating some heat okay we can confirm that there is heat but heat but it's not excessive maybe let's check this i wonder how fast those heated seats will warm up we can see on the display how's the heating element pattern looking and we can confirm that this seat is warming up i'm not sure if it will work with mirror but let's try let's turn on mirror heating and let's check if we can see something warm over here and yeah instantly the mirror is getting warmer and warmer and the same on the other side let me show you how the laser is working so if the laser is on when you press on the trigger you can see this little red dot and the capture uh, image is generated when you release the trigger so I can keep it pressed aim it at what uh, whatever I'm in interested in and when I release it the laser dot disappears and the snapshot is created on the SD card uh, I have hot ankles okay so I've played around with this device for a couple days right now and it helped me helped me with a battery that I was charging uh, over here and uh, thanks to this device I will I was able to locate a, um, a warming up cable which I believe I should replace with a, a thicker one just to make sure that it will not create some uh, damage and um, it will be able to um, deliver those amps without any issue also i've uh, checked a uh, um, microcomputer like raspberry pi compared two devices one was brand new and one was damaged i know it was damaged uh, it has it had a short circuit and over here you can see um, those devices compared side by side you can see the um, broken one it's is getting a lot warmer than the other one so maybe let's talk pros and cons of this device first of all i very much like that it's making the measurement not only on the uh, in the middle of the display but also it's looking for highest and lowest temperature at the same time so you get three readouts uh, at all time also i like the flashlight over here it's a nice touch to have it and the laser point pointer as well the grip is very handy the shape uh, of the device is safe for the uh, for the display you can see that the display is uh, a little bit deeper as well as the sensor LED and the laser pointed pointer if you drop this device they say from two meters it should be just fine and um, also there's a hermetic uh, 
uh, hermetic uh, cap over here so the IP54 should be um, should be accurate for this device I'm not uh, certain because I, I was not going to drop it into water and um, what's else over here ah the USB uh, C port over here is not only for uh, charging but also for for data transfer so if you want to check those uh, saved files you don't need to do this on this uh, display you can just uh, download them on your computer by simply by connecting this into um, your USB port and since this uh, device is using USB-C you can charge it from your phone charger or your car phone charger or whatever and the, um, whatever device you have to charge your USB-C devices and ah the cool stuff over here that I mentioned before if you go into the image viewer and if you select uh, picture info you get those um, those uh, the details over here like the center temperature high temperature and low temperature so it doesn't uh, doesn't uh, just save the image from the sensor it also stores the uh, metadata over here with the temperatures and, uh, and picture time and name and so on when it, it comes to cons i found only one thing I would like to have a case for it because I know it's IP54 but still I would love to have a case for it I don't want to just throw it into the toolbox and just to be completely honest uh, I got this for free from Banggood but they are not paying me anything to make this test to publish this review I'm not obligated to say anything good about this device this is my honest opinion about this and of course you can buy it on Banggood I'm leaving a link in the description below uh, this video as well as a discount code uh, which will bring down the price a little bit for you okay so um, there's a little bit more technical specification down below if you are interested in this device check it out and that's it for today thank you for watching give me thumbs up and see you soon